Not black. You understand? So some, even the Jews, they say this. Uh, as well, as well, as well, as well, as well. So the answer, the answer, my friend, the answer is in Islam. Okay. We ask Allah to guide you first. Listen, may Allah guide you. May Allah guide you. Yeah. Anyway, we we wanted to, we, will, we will conclude this before you smoke because there are some children. They may see this. We don't want them to. We say it's not good to do this. It's not good for your health. You should. Yeah, you should. You should. Before that, before that, focus on the oneness of God. Focus on the oneness of God. Focus that Jesus was sent by God. I love this. The rise of statues, temples, and monuments. Yes. And trace to our world. Yeah. And I don't think that's like works because you're, you're doing that to better yourself. As, as, as the Lord Jesus said, be perfect like your heavenly Father is perfect. So, I think if we're not giving grace to the world, I think we should feel it. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? We're going to conclude now. Can I ask you a question? You know what the Sheikh has been saying? Did it make proper sense to you or not? A lot of it, it's not denied that. Yeah. So, but there's still a little bit still Yeah, but, but, but to be honest with you, God is never a man and he can't be a man to lie. This is in Isaiah. You know, I would not worship a God if he was a man because who is he to be better than me? You see, we by nature, well, yeah, but why, why this man waited until 4,000 years later then appeared? Why couldn't he appear at the beginning and then we would all have been saved? Does that, no, but does that mean that the, one, the ones prior to him, the one that had the original sin, does that, believe, does that mean that they are not saved? Okay. What's, what's that story in the Bible where um, the rich, the rich man ends up in the hell, and uh, Lazarus ends up in like the other place? And he asked the rich man asked Lazarus to dip his finger in the water. And I don't know. I don't know the story, so I can't help you on this one. I, I don't know. Yeah. No. I, I. I don't know it. I don't know it. You want to conclude, Chef? Uh, what do you say here to you, my brother? First of all, may Allah guide you and make it easy for you. I believe that, inshallah, when you are ready one day, you will be taking the shahada. You have to understand, you have to basically... Divorce, divorce, divorce the deity the, of the Jesus. Deity of anyone except the one God, the creator of the business. You have to abstain from that. We have to accept as Muslims the, the divinity of one true God, the creator of the business. The God that was worshipped by Jesus. The God that worshipped by, by Moses, the God that worshipped by, by Abraham, by Muhammad, by Muhammad, the messenger, we are worshipping that. So until you are on that page, wait for me, I need to talk here. Until we are on that page, does that make sense, this one, this concept? The creator of the heavens and the earth, not Jesus, not no one, just just to worship the I, I see what you're saying. I understand. By the way, if the followers of Jesus they talk like your way, they will never be Christian nowadays. That's why they have to abstain from the, their forefathers' faith and they have to follow the truth. That's what we are saying. Well, that's why I've went back to the roots because I'm more interested in the truth on it rather than the fact. So it, does it make sense that Jesus was was a prophet? He wasn't a god. I agree with what he was a prophet, but I also agree that he was the life. You know, this is the church talking now. I get that. You know, it's the church talking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It was the church talking. God is not a flesh, God is not a man. God is worship this one God. Jesus said, I would go to my father, you father, my God, you God. All these things, it tells you that this is not God. That's why I'm reading the Torah, because I'm not going to look back at the Old Testament to see the difference. Yeah, ah, you said the Torah. You know, you know, you know Deuteronomy 6.4. Here you Shama Israel, Shama Israel, Adonai, Aluhainu Adonai Achad. Our Lord Father, this one. And by the way, Israel, 
the Lord our God, the Lord is one. The Lord is one, the Lord is one. Speak Hebrew as well. I understand a bit of Hebrew. I'm studying Hebrew, yeah. And, as, adding, and, and adding to this, by the way, by the way, we have a chapter in the Quran says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. See, Allah is ahad. Ahad is a unique word. Ahad, ahad. Ahad. Ahad or ahad is a unique word. It's not number. It doesn't mean one. It means the one. only. One and only, one and absolute. It, it doesn't mean there is a second and third. Means not a compact, not compact. So because we have wahid means one, we have ahad means one and unique. No second, no third. The absolute. That is God what we are talking about. Does it make sense? So it doesn't make sense. So we'll leave you to study it. You have the you have the Quran. And as well, if you want to share your, if you want to share your contact with us, if you have some questions, you can come to us. If you want to have my contact to ask us questions, yeah, yeah. Just take my number. I've got a pen. I've got. And the color? Get, get your Quran. One of the Quran. Yeah. Yeah. I'll write it here and put back here. This is my number. Yeah. Email what? Email Hi. Can I congratulate you? Welcome, brother. No, he's. Uh, we're just teaching him the shahada. We're just teaching him. We met in the morning. But it's not. It's still halfway. Halfway. We're just teaching him. We're just teaching him. Let me take these. Uh, should I bring a prayer? Do you have any questions for us? No, no, no. Do you have any questions? No, I do. Can you go to the chair? Uh, I'm going to take the chair. <laughs> Can I put it on that bag? No, please don't. I don't want to take responsibility. So, Chef, I'm going to leave you with yeah. I asked, I asked after you that you were on your way. I think this one you? No, no. no. We finished. Yeah, we can. So just say, guide me to the right path. This is the first chapter of the Quran. You see, if you read the Quran, the, first chapter, the very first chapter is talking about the guidance. The master of the day of judgment, you alone, and you alone, guide us along the straight path, the path of the Lord, 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 because they reject Jesus to stay with him. This is what they want to do. And they want to keep him with him. And they prioritize their ways over that. I knew he was referred to Hazza. I had him got him to say it out. So Hazza. Yeah. And he goes, yeah. So do this. Just ask God to guide you. And the guide us in Islam, three things. Allah showing you the path. And Allah leading you to that path.